today we're going to do an oil change on a 2012 GMC Sierra. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is lift the truck up and put the jack stands to secure it. Next thing we're going to do is remove the oil cap. That way it could breathe as the oil is falling out. Alright, next thing. Grab our creeper. Grab our oil pan. I think it might be a 15 millimeter. I just did a uh, oil change on the Chevy Tahoe and it was a 15. So let's give it a try. All right, and here we are underneath the truck. As you can see on the driver's side is the oil filter. On the passenger side is the drain bolt. There it is. Let's see if it is a 15. It is, sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up and drain the oil. All right, here it is, and it's coming loose. This thing nice, likes to shoot it nice and far, so we're gonna go ahead and move that oil pan as far as possible, and here we go. Yep, made it. Sweet. Dropped a little bit, but it's all right. We're gonna let that drain, and then we'll remove the oil filter. All right, and there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it now. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and secure that bolt. There it is, not too tight. Don't wanna mess up the threads. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the oil filter from here. Let's see if we can remove it by hand. Ah, it's pretty tight. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use a filter removal tool. All right, and this just goes on just like so, and it twists it off. It gets tight as you loosen it up so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my 3H ratchet and loosen that up all right and there it is broken loose I don't know how many times I have to say this don't over tighten these oh me gonna mess up everything ever but thing ever but thing oh shit splashing on me <laughs> so we'll go ahead and remove that oil filter and replace it with the new one all right, I'm gonna just grab a little bit of oil that I have on me and just rub it all on the seal. Now we're gonna place in the new filter. All right, and there it is. Just screw all the way in. And just hand tighten the crap out of it. Ah, that's good. It's not gonna leak, it's not gonna burst that seal. Grab our flashlight and let's get the heck out of here. Grab our tools and oil pan and then we're ready to drop this boy. All right, once you're done underneath, here's the oil filter number. And we're gonna add six quarts of full synthetic 5W30 motor oil. So we'll go ahead and put in our Funnel. Man, I'm trying to blink. I'm tired. So I'm trying to go home and I haven't ate nothing yet. Uh, Cause they told me not to eat. Cause we're gonna barbecue. Yeah. We're gonna barbecue when it's ready for George to leave. All right. So let's go ahead and pour the rest of this oil in here. And then we're gonna pour the. Five quarts of oil. With this one will be six. I will need both hands to do the other one. I don't want to drop oil into the exhaust piping. All right, next thing we're gonna do after we finish putting all that oil, we're gonna put the funnel to these and drain the oil we just drained out into these containers, just like those, and take them to AutoZone. So let's go ahead and do this one. I'm gonna need both hands. All right, once it finishes pouring, just go ahead and remove it. We'll put this on the floor because we're going to drain the oil into those. Grab the funnel. 
place it here. Oh, wrong cap. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong cap. I went for I went for this one. <laughs> no, that would not exploded, Mo. But they had the cap. I had the cap right here. No, but you're in the moment. <laughs> Some people Not just, over. some people just don't know how to act in front of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's how you do an oil change on a 2012 GMC Sierra. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Look at the taco fucking spilled oil everywhere. That's how I know they're squirters. Fucking squirters. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.